What's up guys, uh, this is Derek Inoni, and I'm just bringing you a video to review the new head that Paul Rabel is releasing called the Rabel 2.0 or whatever. And I, however, got the prototype of it. So I wanted to give you guys a an review and the feedback that I have from using it and all that jazz. And so here it is, the Rabel 2.0 High School Edition. I didn't get the regular college edition or whatever it is. But um, I know it's such a gross color, but yeah, to be honest, I freaking love this head. This head is so nice. It throws so nice. It was the first head that I strung really well. Um, just look at that, if you can see it. I'll do a close up. But anyways, so first I wanna start off with its durability. Um, the Rabel head, uh, first one, you could use it for face-offs. I'm a face-off guy, so I was like, oh, maybe it'll be flimsy. This is way too narrow, the high school edition. It's really narrow. Um, so it's this is not going to work off for face-offs. And I think it's um, just flexible enough to get a good shot off. Um, I don't think it's too stiff like a defensive head. I think it's perfect. And um, so, yeah, it's nice and narrow. And that narrowness how it comes up like this and that frays. Um, it has a little bit of an invert, almost like the OG blade, but not not really, but it a little a little bit. And that gives it a nice channel when you um, string it up. And uh, yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend this head for high school players, the high school edition. But I would say more of an attack use for it because I don't know um, I'm not really a shooter well I, I am for my summer team but I'm a photo and I don't know I like how this shoots and how it throws uh, it's perfect literally when you're stringing it up if you just pull this like out you can see the channel already starting to form right right off the bat and um, it's really nice now how I strung this was, I did three interlocks, and then I did a double, uh, double, doubled up, and then I doubled up, and then I interlocked all the way down, and it has a really nice um, channel. Uh, I got cotton shooters on it, so two straights and one U. Um, the cotton shooters, I don't really like, because I can't really, it like doesn't give that feel that I enjoy off of the throw, but it's really light. It has um, virtually no whip. It doesn't have a lot of whip, but it has a ton of hold, so you can do those underhand fakes and everything. And um, yeah, it's overall a solid head. I highly recommend um, pre-ordering this or ordering this or buying it when it comes out um, off the market because it's so it's just so nice. I love it. Um, I originally I wasn't gonna string it up because I was gonna sell it for a lot of money, but I was just like, nah, I'll I'll keep it for uh, just novelty value. And the top string I did a regular top string nine diamond. Um, yeah, but it's just overall a great head, and I enjoy using it. Uh, I wish I could use it for face offs, but it's way too narrow. Um, it is not, the high school edition is not NCAA legal, uh, cause it's so narrow, but if you're a dodger, feeder, shooter, this is the head to get out of, uh, right out of the market when it comes out. And I know the tape job is gross. This isn't really the shaft that I wanted it on. I wanted it on this shaft, but, um. It like it didn't fit. Um, this is just a I don't even know what this is. I think it's a brine or something. Yeah, it's a brine shaft. It's really old. Um, but yeah, this is one of my this is my backup face off shaft. So I just slap the head on, and um, yeah, that's why the tape is neon because it has to be a different color than everything else. But anyway, back to the head. Um, yes. So if you get this. Um, Literally, you can string it up however you want. You, that's one of the best things I like about this. Uh, I like how Rabel engineered it so there were like 
I didn't count how many holes there were, but there's a ton of holes on the side. So you can string literally whatever pocket you want. If you like that high whippy pocket, you can get that. If you like that little sag down low pocket when you're one hand cradling, you can string that. I just strung it like a mid to high. Nah, mid, mid pocket. It's kind of baggy, but um, nah, I like it. It's good. It's a good pocket. I outlined the channel with the U and it just throws so nice. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely the stick to get or the head to get, I should say. And you will be like frigging sniping top titty every every time if you string this the way you want or if you just use it it just has a nice flow and a nice feel to it when you throw or when you rip and um yeah uh i think the market price right now is around 120 dollars um you can go on uh laxcity.com or something like that i forget the name of it uh, to get a discount if you pre-order it is for like $109. But the Rabel 2.0 High School Edition, highly recommend it. And I know this is only the prototype, so it's going to be changed a little bit, but right now it's looking good and the changes will be for the better. But Paul Rabel did an amazing job engineering this head and kudos to you, kudos to Warrior for helping you out. And, um, yeah, that's really, really it. Uh, it's starting to get a little dirty right now. Um, but it's barely used. Um, uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, if I could, I would use it. But I can't. So there's the review. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and share to share the news with all your buds to get the Rabel 2.0 High School Edition or just the normal Rabel 2.0. And, uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, peace, guys.